Hi, this is Ed with InSky Aerial Services. Today we're going to do some cold weather testing with the Matrice M210. Um, we did not heat the batteries. We took the batteries out of a warm environment and we put them in the aircraft and fired everything up. Currently our temperature out here is uh, 4.8 Fahrenheit and we're at minus 15.24 degrees Celsius. Let's take off and see what happens here. Okay, you can see our batteries are, are still heating in the air, if you notice. So that the aircraft is holding steady. Our batteries are not discharging that quickly. If you'll notice, it's at 3.99 volt, 3.98. We are getting a remote control signal weak warning. We are in P mode. So it is jumpy as far as the remote control is concerned. We are losing uh... Did you notice that? So we were losing our remote control. So we're back out here in the cold. We had some uh, battery issues on our controller. Um, giving us a weak... Um, remote signal you'll notice that the temperature out here is still around four and a half Fahrenheit minus 15 centigrade um, what we did our batteries are heated up on both the aircraft and on the controller we put the controller in a little insulator here see if that would make a difference uh, you'll notice that we we have good remote signal we have solid GPS so everything looks pretty good here, but we just came outside again, so this is all subject to change. Um, our temperature is steady at 4.5 Fahrenheit. Also, we should note that we're pretty close to the threshold of operating conditions for this aircraft. It's a minus 5 um, centigrade, excuse me, Fahrenheit. So, you know, we're about 10 degrees away from that. So just for kicks here, we want to see what the temperature of our battery is reading. And currently on the outside of our battery, and this makes this is what we've been finding. So you can see our battery is actually reading at around 40. Yeah, it's, it's creeping up on us here. So it's going to steady out somewhere, you know, in the low 50s most likely. It's slowly uh, rising here, but, um, you know, everything's on, so it is generating heat through that, uh, through that battery. So I think what's important when operating in these conditions is keeping your equipment warm, obviously. And, you know, they do make socks or insulators for these controls. And it looks like uh, it's not a bad idea to have something like that. What do you say, Steve? Should we try to fly it? Let's give it a go. All right. All right, it looks like it's operating pretty well. This is making a big difference with our remote. Last time we did not have this insulator. And we had the um, remote control station sitting on this table, and that was wicking a lot of our heat away from this. Uh, you can see we have some good um, response with the drone. Uh, we have five bars on our uh, link to our remote from the aircraft. We have 17 satellites. So it's operating pretty well. You can see our temperature. You know, we're still 
six five. So we're, we're it's quite cold here, 4.6 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's actually doing quite well. So I think that's the trick, Steve, having some sort of insulation on our remote, on our remote, keeping that battery toasty. Um, I'm sure there's systems out there that are better than what we have, but you know we work a lot with law enforcement and um, other first responders. And you know what? On days like today, you're going to have to be operating. And you know, as a hobbyist, you know you can choose not to, but if somebody's life is dependent on it, we need to figure out how we can operate in these conditions. So we're going to go ahead and uh, land, and we're going to set up the um, M210 RTK and see how that performs in these conditions.